So our crew looks like they're about ready to take off, but they gotta watch out. They got a boat coming up on the other side. Our young lady moves over to that side of the boat to try and make sure they stay off of her. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here at 79th Street. So our young lady's gonna head back to the other side. Our guy looks like he's ready to push it off. She goes one foot on the boat, one foot on the dock. She's doing the splits now. <laughs> She's stuck. She's asking for help. And the guy's going to try and bring it back over. A couple of the other guys are going to grab her. And that was a close call. We always say that one. Never one foot on the dock and one foot on the boat. That one never quite ends well. And here comes one of our jet boat crews heading toward the dock. So it looks like Wifey's possibly getting the lines ready. So we'll have something set up on this one. I don't see any fenders out. But this crew might just roll without it. Cap's got a good approach angle, decent speed. And he's gonna leave the helm as they start to approach the dock. He's gonna go up to the bow and push off. Never leave the helm unless you're 100% ready. And he's kind of just pushing off the dock, walking it down now. And Wifey's trying to get a line around, but I mean, somebody's gonna have to get off and get onto the dock. It looks like this crew might be waiting for them. There we go, Cap leaves the boat finally. Takes the bow line. And it looked like he killed the motors even. I don't believe this boat's even running anymore. And gets it pulled over. Now Wifey's just gotta get him that stern line. But always a risky move. It looks like when I'm looking at this now, he may have killed the motors went up to the bow and then came off the bow onto the dock. Definitely showing some confidence in his moves on that one. And we got another jet boat crew coming in down here at 79th and let's see how this captain fares. So they pulled that move where they've got the swim platform occupied with one of those mats. Always a little sketched out when I see that because especially on this jet boat, the cleats are back there for the stern lines, but it looks like they might already have a stern line attached, which is a pretty slick move on this crew. So Cap came in on approach, doesn't like the way he's hit his first approach and is trying to reline it up. So it starts to make the turn around. Took the quick look behind him a second ago to kind of make sure that there's nobody around. Here we go, gonna get the bow pointed in the direction he wants. He's got Wifey in the bow on the lines, on the ready. Let's go. Coming a little hot on the dock here. He's gonna have to slow this one down. Needs to brake check it, Wifey hang on. Oh no, he turns it into the dock. And somehow he saves it. That was a close call. I thought for sure we were gonna get a dock smack on that one. And Cap gets that wheel turned back around and breaks it up. Jet boat crew number three for the day. It's been one of those jet boat kind of days. So we've got our young lady captain. Looks like we're gonna switch sides. Looks like they had it prepped for a port side dock and we're gonna switch to the starboard side. Trying to get the fenders moved over. And we got a guy standing on the swim deck. So Cap, she's taking it easy, which is a smart move, especially with somebody back there, and he's not really holding on to much, it doesn't appear. If she hits that throttle, he's going overboard. And we got a crew coming in. We're gonna get shot blocked, it appears, on this one as she makes her approach. So the other crew is back out of the way. She's coming in on attempt number two. She missed on the first attempt. And here we go. We've got one of our guys onto the dock. She's back into reverse, it appears, though. Trying to pull off, so we're going to get a little tug-of-war action here on the dock. She's going to try and bring it back around. And starts to swing the stern over. And our guy's going to walk this one up the dock, it looks like. And our crew here looks like they should be good to roll. Our guy's going to step off the back. 
over by the wake tower, and that should be good to go for this crew. So our crew here is struggling to try and get this one on the trailer. It's one of those roller trailers. For whatever reason, you can see our guy just hanging onto this line for dear life here, trying to get this boat pulled over, but it does not want to move over at all. So they're trying to roll the boat out a little bit, like the that they're using the vehicle, trying to pull it up, but it's not leveling, self-leveling on the trailer at all. And they're gonna have to try and set this one up again. So here we go, they're gonna back it back down, but you can see how crooked the boat is on this one, that it's just all kinds of all over the place. And our guy again, I mean, he is tossing all the weight he has into trying to pull this line over. That boat is not budging as he's pulling. So they try to drop it a little deeper. He gets a little leverage on it, but still the boat looks crooked. And they're either gonna have to go deeper, or he's gonna have to get some additional hands back here to try and pull it over. Because as they try and pull out, the boat starts turning on him again. So something's not right somewhere. So he's gonna get a second set of hands to attempt to help him, but I don't think it's gonna help much. So they're pulling, but I think they're kind of realizing that they're not going to be able to pull this thing over. Something's wrong further up on the trailer. So after a few minutes, they're trying to reset it up. And they start pulling forward. The boat goes crooked on them again, and the guys are trying to pull it back over. When you start fighting this hard on it, I almost want to say the same thing. The best thing you can do is probably release the boat and just try resetting this because something's wrong somewhere in the setup. So one of our guys walked to the bow. Let's see if he decides to release this thing. Truck's back in reverse. Oh, there we go. It came off the trailer. <laughs> it made a funky noise, too. I'm not sure what happened up there. I'm wondering if this was a hung up on the bow rail or just missed somewhere up front. But now they get to try and start it all over again. But at least now they got a shot to try and get it fixed up. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hall over Romana Machine, take on Mother Nature down at the inlets in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.